Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about cryptanalysis. So, in previous tutorial, we studied about uh, cryptography and uh, symmetric key cipher. In this tutorial, we will study about cryptanalysis. So, what is the cryptanalysis? As we studied in previous tutorial, that uh, cryptography is the science and art of creating secret codes, right? So, the cryptanalysis is the science and art of breaking those codes. Right. We need to study crypto analysis to learn how vulnerable our crypto system is. The study of crypto analysis help us create better secret codes. So there are four types of crypto analysis attacks which we are going to study in this tutorial. One is cipher text only. Another one is known plain text. Third one is chosen plain text. And fourth one is chosen cipher text right so in this tutorial we will study about these four crypt analysis attacks so first of all we will study about cipher text only attack right so first of all we will study about cipher text only so what happens in this case in this type of attack attacker has access to only some cipher text and he tries to find the corresponding key and plain text so what are the cipher text, plain text and key that these things we have already discussed in previous tutorials. So if you are not familiar with what is the cipher text or plain text or a key, then I will advise you to study the previous tutorial or to watch the previous tutorial. Right. So what is the cipher text only attack in this type of attack? Attacker has access to only some cipher text and he tries to find corresponding key and plain text right so some methods which can be used in a cipher text to only attack they are brute force attack statistical attack and pattern attack so first we will study about brute force attack so what happens in a brute force attack in this case it is assumed that attacker knows the decryption algorithm and the key domain right key domain means the list of all possible keys so in the brute force method uh, uh, or exhaustive key search method right brute force method is also called exhaustive key search method right so what happens in this in uh, this method attacker tries to use all possible keys right so to prevent this type of attack the number of possible keys must be large so another one is statistical attack. So what happens in this uh, statistical attack? In uh, this case, what happens? The crypt analyst can benefit from inherent characteristics of the plain text language to launch a statistical attack, right? So it will be clear after an example, which I'm going to give you. Uh, we know that the letter E is the most frequently used letter in English text. So the crypt analyst will find the mostly used character in the cipher text and assume that the corresponding plain text character is E, right? So after finding a few pairs, the analyst can find the key and use it to decrypt the message, right? Another one is pattern attack. So what happens? Some ciphers may create some patterns in the cipher text. So a crypt analyst may use a pattern attack to break the cipher. Therefore, it is uh, important to use ciphers that make the cipher text look as random as possible. Right. Now the next is known plain text attack. Right. So the next uh, type of crypt analysis attack is known plain text attack. In this case, what happens? The crypt analyst, or we can say attacker, he has access to some plain text, cipher text pairs, in addition to the intercepted uh, cipher text to which he wants to break. So the attacker, in this case, uses the relationship between the previous plain text, cipher text uh, pairs which he has to analyze the current intercepted cipher text. So this type of uh, attack is uh, called known plain text attack, right? Now the next type of uh, crypt analysis attack is chosen plain text attack. So in this case, what happens? The crypt analyst 
the crypt analyst or uh, we can say attacker choose some plain text and obtain the corresponding cipher text and then he uses these plain text uh, cipher text pairs to break a particular cipher text it is similar to the known plain text attack which we studied before this but uh, here the plain text cipher text pairs have been chosen by the attacker himself right so in this case what happened in a chosen plain text attack the crypt analyst chooses some plain texts and obtain the corresponding cipher texts and then what he does then he uses these plain text cipher text pairs to break a particular cipher text right now the another crypt analyst uh, attack is chosen cipher text attack so what happens in this case in this case the attacker chooses some cipher text and obtain their plain texts then attacker uses these uh, cipher text to plain text pairs to analyze a particular cipher text to break it right